the FTX challenge is nothing new. Um, there would have been um, collaboration between our regulatory bodies, uh, between both countries before in other similar instances where banks collapsed back in the day um, and uh, major international multinational companies would have collapsed and we would have cooperated in, in, in that area. The difference here is that we were, we were in a different space, uh, the crypto, the digital space. Unfortunately, we do have a legislative regime that was that is in place. Um, our our regulatory body worked uh, very closely with the U.S. regulatory bodies in all these uh, in various matters. They collaborate um, very often in matters of concern that that's cross border issues. And so, when the FTX uh, issue arose, it was um, <coughs> it was because of our red, our a regulatory regime that allowed us to move quickly to preserve assets for for participants in in the FTX um, business, and we were able to move quickly, more quickly than even the U.S. Yeah. Um, and I and I dare say that perhaps our regulatory regime in respect to this space is probably more modern than the U.S. And so um, you would have found that the the CEO that was appointed after the, the Chapter 11 filings, eventually had to come around yeah. to accept that what we were doing, what we had done, was appropriate and perhaps has saved the day for many of the investors in the FTX group. But we continue to work with our, with our regulatory partners around the world to ensure, because at the end of the day, the, the regulatory regime is to keep out bad actors, to protect investors, and to ensure that the integrity of our jurisdiction maintains um, its uh, property.